Christianophobia is hot and Islamophobia is not. I'm going to bring you the tale of the state broadcaster and their treatment of two different religions. The BBC's The Social describes itself on its YouTube page as the best of Scotland's music, comedy, drama, lifestyle, sport, and everything in between. Now they made big promises to me that they'll bring me must watch videos daily and that I should be prepared to be surprised, shocked and amazed. And on their YouTube page, BBC's The Social posted a video titled The Time for Love. It's about homophobia in 2018. And in that short video produced by the BBC, they have some not so closeted anti-Catholic bigotry. Just watch this from the United Kingdom's state broadcaster here. Like how Poundland rip off many cheddars and sell them on as cheese savouries. Because it seems to me like Jesus saved a lot of time when he died for all our crimes that he would have wasted teaching small minds that love is no sin. See him, he thinks it's faith, but under all that din, it tastes like cardboard and it smells like hate. So BBC has no problem calling Christianity hateful, saying that the Catholic Eucharist tastes like hate. Mm, okay, fine. I'm not going to blow anything up over it. But let's compare and contrast this with the BBC's treatment of anyone who publicly expresses criticism for Islam. Look at this tweet from 2016. This is a BBC reporter named Katrin Nye. She says a man interrupted an interview that she was doing about Islamophobia with Islamophobia. She said this was part of a news story that she was doing on rising Twitter abuse. Now I want you to see the clip that this reporter attached to her tweet. Just watch. The point now where I don't really think that me condemning these kind of attacks are going to change people's opinions. So if you've got something to say, then you can say it. Do you want to talk about Sharia law? You want to talk about Sharia law to me? We can talk about, we'll talk about Sharia law. You obviously said it for a reason. I wasn't, I wasn't talking to you. I yeah, who, who are, are you talking, talking to? to? Who are you talking to about Sharia law here, sir? What, We're you're... losing our right to freedom of expression. And I think... Why is that? Because we are. We are. We've been, we've been told to be politically correct when we, we don't want to be politically correct. So that man expressed criticism for Islam. He didn't call it hateful. He didn't say, oh, I don't know, halal meat tastes like cardboard and hate. No, he just expressed concern and disagreement with a religious and political ideology. That's not really hate, is it? Now, the woman in the video wearing the hijab actually goes on to berate that man for quite some time. And then BBC posted that video on their YouTube page as evidence of Islamophobia instead of evidence of a poorly behaved woman in a hijab who can't deal with someone with different ideas than herself. It was weird. So that's Islamophobia there. But that bizarre anti-Catholic BBC video was, I don't know, tolerance, I guess? Oh, but there's no double standard now, is there? Despite what the BBC has promised me, I assure you that I am not amazed, I am not surprised, and I'm not even remotely shocked that this is the treatment the BBC would give Christianity. It's not edgy, it's not brave, it's expected, it's completely safe, and it is attacking the low-hanging fruit. Us Christians do this thing called turning the other cheek. I'm not mad. I'm making a snarky video. I'm Catholic. I guess I'm supposed to find this video offensive, but I really don't. I just find it sort of dull and lazy. And as a conservative, I don't feel like there are any religions or ideologies that are off limits for discussion or scrutiny or criticism, especially my own. I'm pretty confident in what I believe in. I believe it to be true and right, so I'm happy to have those discussions and I can defend my positions with other people. And I don't need Christianophobia laws to protect me and bully my critics into silence. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. What you just saw there is my daily video here at the Rebel, but I also have my own full-length show where I talk a lot about issues of anti-Christian bigotry in education and in government. But to get access to my show and the rest of our amazing premium content, you have to become a Rebel subscriber today.